Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Tomorrow Never Dies. Today we're going to be tackling the Arms Bazaar in Russia? Somewhere? It's it's a mountain. It has snow. It's cold. Um, yeah, so from the last part, the, this game is going to actually be a little bit difficult for me because of the, the game seems to be working against me when... Uh, in considering the bad controls, the gunplay, um, I'm not sure if this game was very well received or not, um, but I can venture to guess probably not, especially living up to the legacy of Goldeneye. Oh, that's right, we can't use analog sticks. wipe out as many enemies as possible before we can complete our objective. Okay. Med kit. Our objective is to take photographs of weapons and equipment. And that's definitely not the picture that I took, but sure. Whatever. I'll take it. Bomb deficiency. Okay, what do we got over here? Oh, a case of ammo. Well, you can't go wrong with that. I remember the first time playing this, uh, I actually ran into a problem. I found I did not know what these were for. So. Okay. I just gotta find out how to detonate them. Okay, I have no idea how to detonate these mines. Uh, okay, let's see here. Um, damn it, no, stop changing my weapon. Oh, fuck me. Oh, this is this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be really bad. Unless it's a gadget. Yep, it's a gadget. Fantastic. Great game design, guys. You guys are fucking geniuses. Thank you, Black Ops Entertainment. Even though you'll go on to make better James Bond games, including uh, Nightfire. Oh, well that looks hazy. Okay. White Knight, the British Navy has just launched a Tomahawk cruise missile to destroy the bazaar. Evacuate immediately. I just need a little more time. Oh, this actually sounds like a pretty convincing Pierce Brosnan. Props to you, Tomorrow Never Dies. You actually did something somewhat close. Um, we're not even out of the film's prologue sequence yet. Make our way over to this nice door here. White Rook, we have a problem. That jet is armed with Soviet SV-5 nuclear warheads. If the incoming cruise missile detonates those warheads, you're going to have a nuclear disaster. The Tomahawk is out of range. We cannot abort the missile. Repeat, we cannot abort the missile. Get out of there now. I have to evacuate that jet. Thank you for telling me the objective. I think the key to the jet is over here with this guy. Yeah. Okay, let's make our way to the jet. And get inside. Blow everything up James Bond style.
I don't I don't understand why they have me spin around so many times. I, I guess to wreak as much havoc as possible. And that was probably the shortest mission I have ever played on my Let's Play channel. Five and a half minutes. You know what? You guys are good to me. I'll go on ahead and I'll play the next mission in this episode because this was this was a quick one. Don't want to leave you with just five and a half minutes, roughly, of oh, an FMV sequence. But we can't have MGM hounding me. After all, they are desperate for money. Alright, Carver Media in Hamburg, Germany. It's a nice party situation with some espionage. Can never go wrong with a little bit of espionage and booze. I actually managed to pick this game up relatively cheap at a local game store. Um, they had it labeled for $7, which actually is not that bad, considering uh, some places online wanted as much as $15 for this game, which... Wow. Lens Flare. Woo! Unsuspecting German guard. Uh oh. What's the point of having a suppressed weapon if everybody can hear you? Okay, door remote and heavy armor. Okay. Damn, that, that's gonna bother me. I, I keep on thinking that the, uh, that the gadget buttons are mapped to the shoulder buttons, but they're not. Um, okay. Continue more espionage. As Bond. James Bond. It's locked. Hmm. Anyone else here? Apparently not. Oh. Oh, this is bad. I do have to at least give this game a little bit of props for attempting to allow you to do first person, but it just, it does not, it doesn't work, man. It, without the analog stick support, it just, it does not work. SMG 45. Whoa. Hide back here, maybe. Our villain, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, a wall, ladies and gentlemen. I wonder what it would feel like if I ever saw you again. <laughs> now <I'm here. laughs> that was actually a pretty good sound effect for getting slapped. <laughs> ah. Paris, someone in your husband's organization was involved in the sinking of the Devonshire and the murder of those British sailors. You don't know anything about that, do you? Elliot's company is involved in many things. Plot, plot, plot. Ramble, ramble, ramble. Look, I'm sorry what happened between us, but I need your help. Well, I know there's a restricted lab. Ah, Mr. Bond. Won't you allow me to give you a tour of the facility? Wait, how do you know who I am? Okay, sure. Devilish laugh. Yep, our villain. Well, he ain't no Blofeld, that's for sure. White Knight, the British Navy has just launched a Tomahawk cruise. What the fuck? Evacuate immediately. I just need a little more time. <laughs> Is Bond having flashbacks? <laughs> <laughs> that 
That was pretty good. I, that was really good. I I want I want more of that happening in this. All right, we got ourselves a med kit. Destroy the central computer. James Bond tech support. Objective escape. Working on it. Mission complete. Awesome. These are really, really, really short missions. So, two missions for you since the first one was only five minutes long, coming in at 11 minutes. Phantasm Mask here. Signing out until next time.